To think something so small could control you. And everything you do. When your life and all you love are on the line. The RFID chip is always with you, threatening your privacy, causing severe risk to your health and personal safety, and killing you if you do not obey rogue government demands. Because I want to increase my risk of cancer. Because I want to live in a cash-free society. Because now, the government is looking out for us. Because I have the mark of the beast, but it doesn't have me. Ask your doctor how to get your chip implanted today. Because we want to track your every move. Hello, I'm Tina. I live in a digital society of Estonia. I use my electronic ID card to access public and private services online, like uh, filing my taxes and checking my son's progress in school. My husband has used his card to register his new business, my father to apply for a farming subsidy, and my mother to view her health records at home. And I can pick up her medications using my card. So our lives have become so much easier. This is not the future, but already everyday life for our 1.3 million residents in Estonia. Our advanced digital society offers services in many fields like health, education, voting and so on. And all these services make uh, life easier, more convenient, more efficient for everybody. Our national information system is built on extra technology, which connects together data from all parts of government as well as with the private sector. X-Road safeguards information to protect uh, integrity and privacy, but at the same time it is very easy to add new services. National employment registries enhance worker rights and social benefit regulation. Estonia's electronic employment register makes it easy for organizations across the country to register their employees using online phone, text, machine-to-machine -machine methods. It integrates with other agencies using the X-Road to speed services and eliminate duplications, helping us to improve employment verification and increase tax collections. Providing urgent assistance in an emergency is a prime concern for us. Our new emergency response system, which we implemented in cooperation with IT and Development Center of the Estonian Ministry of the Interior, establishes good foundation for using the response time between answering emergency calls and the arrival of emergency services at the scene. There is better collaboration between all emergency services and we are able to save more lives. We now administer a large number of rural and agricultural subsidies digitally, saving time for our farmers and for our pay agency. We are also able to make GIS data about fields and livestock buildings available to Estonian and EU agencies, students, journalists, scientists. These advances are helping to improve Estonian agriculture and beyond. This all is just the beginning for us in E-Estonia, and we are working to improve our people's lives even more. Our digital strategy has been possible because of deep collaboration between uh, public sector and private sector and our eager citizens. Together, we are very happy to share our story with you and help you start your digital journey. If having cash, anytime you have money in your, in your, in your ship, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do. What everything. You everything is in there. You know? And so they, they want a one-world government, controlled by them. Everybody being to think something so small can connect you to everything that matters. When your life and all you love are on the line. HealthLink is always with you. When every second counts in the emergency room, providing immediate access to your medical records. 
because Bob has trouble remembering all his medications. Because I'm in love with my kids' kids. Because my car lost control while driving. Because now I'm looking out for both of us. Because I have diabetes, but it doesn't have me. Because I spend my life in the ER trying to save yours. In the United States of America, the real ID deadline is October 1st, 2020. So even in America, they're already moving towards the real ID. And if you don't have it by October 1st, 2020, federal agencies, including DHS and TSA, will give you a very, very, very hard time. You need to have this done by October 1st, 2020, or else you don't have, you may have an ID, but you don't have the real ID, according to the government. Travelers were put on notice today. You may not be able to board a plane next year unless you first make a stop at the DMV to get what's called a real ID. It's a new level of security in the wake of the 9-11 attacks, and transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve tells us what the real ID is really about. Starting October 2020 of next year, okay, you have to have the gold star on your ID. That way you be in compliance with the Real ID Act. At airports across the U.S., TSA officers are breaking the news to flyers. You have to have the gold star on your... Many will need a round trip to the DMV before October 2020. Not necessarily looking forward to the process. Or they may not be able to fly. They'll need new real IDs, a new secure driver's license that'll be required to access airport checkpoints and to enter federal buildings. How many of the folks coming through here have IDs that are compliant that you're seeing? Uh, roughly about 50%. So we still have to make the general public aware to go ahead and go to the DMV now, uh, so that way we won't wait till the last minute. New signs are up at airports alerting passengers about the need for the new ID with a star like this one in the upper right corner. And show them your documents. We found Mark Harris at the Maryland DMV. To get his new Real ID compliant license requires showing a valid ID, passport or birth certificate, proof of social security number, date of birth, and two items that prove state residency. It was a lot of documents. I was surprised how many you needed of each. It happens in seconds. Moms and dads, you know that feeling. Your child gets lost in a store, maybe just wanders off for a second or two. Your heart stops, though. Panic sets in, and you think the worst. It's happened to most of us, but what if you had a secret weapon, an extra layer of safety, so to speak? How far would you go to keep your children secure? Would you be willing to microchip them? Experts tell us the technology already exists. Turns out one Bay Area mother is all for it, and she shared her story with our Melanie Michael. Chances are if you have a four-legged family member at home, it's already microchipped. And if the technology exists to save Fido in an emergency, what about microchipping your child? I want my son back. We've seen it in movies. This is my daughter. Over and over again, children gone missing. Stephanie's teenage daughter is a special needs child, prone to wander off and trust strangers. For that very reason, Stephanie wholeheartedly welcomes microchipping a child. If a small chip the size of a grain of rice could have prevented a tragedy, I think most parents, you know, hindsight would have said, I wish I would have done it. A well-known technology expert out of Boston tells us microchipping poses little to no health risks and would act as a barcode of sorts. Without question, it could save a life. And it's the size of a grain of rice, very, very small. And the expert that we spoke with actually tells us that barcodes were introduced in the late 1960s. And back then, people thought, uh, this is way too invasive and too weird. And now barcodes are so commonplace that we don't even think about them anymore. The expert tells us this will happen sooner rather than later. But, I mean, have companies actually tried this? That's a different scenario. It did not go through. But you can bet somewhere, someday, someone is going to pull this off. And we could see those microchips in everyone. That's interesting to think about. Melanie Michael live in Tampa.